Okay, I don't think you would uh, make this for yourself if you knew that it is actually a lot of work. But I enjoyed it and I am glad that I got it to work. And I'm going to show you a little bit more about it. Let me just shut it off for now. As you can see, I'm running actually two balls, not just one. And I'm going to go ahead and take those out. Put them on side. And I'm going to show you what's inside. So as you can see, I just have a 12 volt battery connected to it. I also made that. And then here's, here is the underside. So this board holds basically two of the coils for, uh, or the two controllers for the two coils. And then these two boards are separate, one for each of the other two coils. So there's a total of four coils. So uh, all four are controlled uh, uh, independently, basically, really. So I'm very happy that it, uh, it works. As you can see, this is where the power comes in. And then this here, the right upper corner, you see the two wires that they are for the switch to turn, turn it on and off. From the side, it looks like this. I wish I have a little bit more space in here to create a nice background without my junk, but that's okay. At least you see that I'm working on things. That's going to be my next project. What would that be, huh? Well, you'll see. Anyway, uh, I had originally uh, so, uh, put together one of these controllers that means uh, that rather than having a an LED and then a uh, photo sensor over here so LED regular white LED shines this way and uh, when the ball comes in here it interrupts the light and what it does it, instead of uh, um, shortening to ground in the schematics which is right here um, I'm going to try to maybe even explain it Okay, so here's the sensor, and here's the regular white LED. What happens is as long as the white LED uh, shines on the sensor, the sensor shortens this path to ground. So basically through this resistor, shortens this to the ground. So therefore, this uh, leg number two, which is the middle leg of the MOSFET, uh, then uh, is open. And as soon as uh, the MOSFET receives uh, f the voltage that is coming through here, which is 12 volts, then uh, it uh, passes it over here, and then and the ground is interrupted just by turning this photosensor off. So that's basically how it works. So that's kind of a, a short little explanation. I'm pretty sure there is a, a little bit uh, more... Um, scientific way of saying this but I'm a simple man so just keep up with me um, this website here in the blue uh, and I'm gonna put that in the notes uh, is where I got the original idea as well as the gentleman was so nice to give me the file for this one of these uh, um, tracks and then you print four different tracks in my case I, I printed two different colors and then <clears throat> Howard, my friend, helped me to design this uh, <clears throat> uh, in Fusion 360. We worked on it together, had a, had a great time as well. And I'm going to put that also somewhere on the internet, maybe in a thing as thing as where uh, and um, thing as well, um, so people can download it if they want it. But it's really simple. It's just a C clamp, uh, which is like six or seven millimeters. Uh, deep and has five and a half millimeter holes uh, that goes perpendicular from one side to the other. So that's about it. Uh, not much more to really talk about it except that it's a lot of fun. And I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to just put one of the balls in so you can see how it starts. And it speeds up pretty fast. I'm going to take a second ball and then they will chase each other.